Hi, I'm Katie, and this lesson is going to be collage and drawing, and it is going to be done, the collage is going to be done in a minimal palette, and it's going to be done on drawing paper. And the drawing paper should be of a significant weight, heavy enough to withstand the gluing of the collage. So just go ahead and have fun with it. Okay, so here she is, uh, five by seven, drawn on a white cardstock. You can use any drawing paper you'd like. Um, it just should be heavy enough where when you glue it, it's going to hold together and, and not get too out of shape, pucker or stuff like that. So um, I have picked, let's see, three darker uh, shades of paper for her jacket. Uh, this piece here for the fur tassels, this, these two pieces here, which are similar for the collar, uh, this possibly for the background, we'll see, uh, this for her hair, and then this for her hat, uh, and then the bloom on her hat, uh, maybe a combination of one of these pieces, or something else yet I, I don't know um, but then also I have these two accent pieces that I may use I may feel that it it needs a little something extra um, so I have those here just because I thought they may work towards the end but we'll see all right so I decided I wanted to use this piece for the background and I decided I wanted to lay that down first and this piece was on it and it was kind of fallen off it so I ripped it off and I thought okay this might be kind of neat to use as a plume on the hat which then got me thinking that maybe I'd flip this around and see how this would fit here and I kind of like that idea of what's happening here possibly you don't really know until you try it using this here as part of the plume here so I'm going to go ahead and do that, figure out how I want to tear this, and lay this piece down first using this section here, possibly as part of this plume. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. After assessing the situation, I realized that there was going to be a lot of overlap of uh, precisely torn and cut pieces. And if I went ahead and glued them one at a time before I figured out the shape of the next piece, I was going to lose a drawing each time I, I glued a piece down. So while the drawing was still visible, I went ahead and made my shapes, uh, at least for the coat part in the beginning and the uh, fur part. Um, I hadn't done the, the hat yet. So I went ahead and made the shapes and then now I'm gonna go ahead and, and glue them down.
So here I have in place uh, the jacket, the collar, and both of the fur pieces. And now I'm going to assess what I want to do with the plume. And here I have a piece that I have torn out and I am going to go with what I had originally um, thought I might do. Okay, that is going to be it for the collage, and now I'm going to go in and start to draw uh, whatever I feel needs to be drawn. Um, of course, the side of the hair um, that didn't get the collage, and also that side of the hat to just outline where that's going to be. And then, um, and then just lightly uh, going into the face and, and progressively getting harder where you want it more dark and just take your time with it and have fun with it. And of course, what is drawing without erasing? Here I'm going back in with a kneaded eraser. Uh, and I think it just gives it a, wherever you erase, I think it, it can add um, a lot to just the marks of the eraser. So don't be afraid to use the eraser. <laughs> 